Hello everybody! My opponent for this game will be Lucky Boss with 30 wins. And hello again and welcome to Time from Peaks. I am today the Red Terran player, Largo please, and I am asking him to cut his balls off. And I'm messing around here, messing up everything in the beginning since I tried to write while playing that tune and well. And of course I'm referring to the song Like a Boss. I was a bit surprised that he did not get that. Uh, well, over at the other side, in the top left position, we have the blue Terran Like a Boss. And it seems like he's not messing everything up. If you look at the production key here, you can s see that he's actually already one SCV ahead. Well, about half SCV ahead, at least. But uh, hopefully I will be able to pull back and ahead in the future in this game. I did promise you the last match in Soda Cup, well the next match, but I actually threw these replays away by accident. And uh, I can tell you I was playing against Empire No Name, I think. And he just beat me straight up. He used to be a member of uh, Empire, and if you know anything about them, you know that they're quite good. Uh, he was actually kicked out, but uh, still a strong Master League player, so I was just run over completely. And um, I've been dabbling a bit with the Charon lately, trying to get into that rather than into Zerg. Since I do kind of like it, I am a bit unfamiliar with the style of play, and that is why I haven't done this switch earlier. I've been thinking about it a lot and tried every now and then but it just felt funky. And I have a lot of money, I should do something. Come on! Yeah, and I got my trap as well. Okay. I should spend my money. Well, yeah, that of course the com uh, orbital command, so yay. And as you can see, we're both scouting the wrong direction. So, no. Nobody has a clue of what's going on, if you look here. Essentially the same thing is going on in each base, except I'm not feeling much available because I am awful. But here we have some deviation. I'm getting a second barracks while he is not. So, some difference already. And we will see how that will end up. And he's spamming a lot to make sure that he gets all information he can from his, you know, building. And he's going here with the scout, he's going down for an early expand as well. I have my two marines stationed here, no micro needed. I'm able to see my factory. No, he did not. He saw this second barracks, he did not see my factory. So he feels safe, he's putting up his command center. And in the meantime, I'm getting my factory. Double racks getting a tech lab as well to get some some upgrades for my mariners and in the meantime he's getting his factory and um, somewhat standard build when you're uh, expanding of one barracks but get no gas get one barracks get your expansion then get two more racks uh, well let's see he's getting a second one at least so we are about I have pretty much the same infrastructure here but as you can see my factory is earlier than his and I am getting re react as well, whereas he's not getting any tech labs as well on his barracks so far. And he's getting, let's see, his tech lab there, and mine is already done. And I should start producing some siege tanks, but I refuse because I'm awful. There we go, finally. I'm trying to get some marines up, trying to not get supply block. That is the most difficult part. I'm used to just get a bunch of overlords and be happy. Here you actually have to, you know, build them. So, it's a bit tricky, but it kind of works out at least. And I'm continuing to stream out marines here. If you look at the unit sub here, as you can see, I'm actually only one marine head so far, but remember I do have shield on the way. And I can build three marines at a time, and he can only build two. And that means that I will have more marines and stronger marines and there is the money scan he sees everything that's going on this is a bit strange actually 
I'm not really sure what he's doing, since he has an expansion up. He should probably be ahead in Harvester count, but he's actually behind. So, well, he is not really building anything. I'm starting to get my Siege tank upgrade as well, uh, as well as a second tank, and I decide to move out, do a slow push. And I will not engage before a siege check is done, but I might as well get in position, because if I wait until it's done and then I start to walk, it takes so much time. It is great to be in the position where you're about to attack when it's finished. That way you can actually use it instantly, and it's, it is the same with the upgrade for my marines. That is the way I want it. I start it, and then I move out before it's actually done, and if you look at the f food count here, I'm actually quite far ahead, ahead by 12, but it is so early, and of course uh, he's up one uh, expansion, so if he is able to hold this, I poke in with one marine to see what's going on, I see that his tanks are quite far back, so I move up here, waiting for the siege tech, and there we go, I'm able to siege up here, and I will, he's getting a tank up here, and he's in rage of me, and there is the scam. And I will be able to kill one tank. That is a huge deal in this. And I will be able to mash down just a little on his, this bank as well. And I'm getting a third tank here as well. Starting, continuing to produce marines, tanks, and I'm... That's not me. There we go! I'm continuing to make siege tanks and marines. And he's actually getting him here as well, and I decided he was firing at my siege tank and I actually moved it back. And here I decide just to move in uh, to deal some damage and have a chance to actually move in my siege tank as well here. He's forced to pull SCVs right off his mineral line. But I have four tanks here in range of everything, well I can put them in range. And I'm of course going for his expansion, I want to deny that. Look at this, I was actually able to kill 9 workers in that push. I killed uh, the initial, initial scout as well. Then of course, yeah, another sad fact. Because that is me, but uh, I will actually start getting my command center. Well, there we go. You can see he's not able to, you know, use his money as well. And there he leaves, so this is uh, a victory for me. And I wanted to actually caused a victory the first game I'm casting as Terran. have not been performing that well, I've been struggling quite a lot. Uh, versus Terran I'm doing okay. And this is basically what I do, I get uh, reactor and tech lab uh, shields and tanks. And then when I can afford it I put down a command center as well. I probably should not be able to, well there we go, I'm starting to produce vikings as well. Just to get the ability to actually see what's going on and get the range and uh, advantage and mainly the vi vision advantage. So that was the first game I casted while I was playing Terran and there will be more of these and since the new season starts this week that is what I will go and do. I will play Terran Probably I can't promise anything, but hopefully that I can stick with it. I do enjoy playing it a lot. And that means that there will be no Platinum Zerg player on my channel anymore. It will just be me playing Terran as a Platinum level player instead. And hopefully I will be able to advance up once again. Thank you everybody for this and good bye.